Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I put out a video of last week called the three strategies you had to follow to boost your immune system. And I really wanted to put that video out there for you guys so they were strategies that don't cost any money that anybody can do. And in that video, we talked about fats, specifically saturated fats. And it drove a lot of questions about something specifically, a, a, a saturated fat that so many of us are eating, which is coconut oil. So on this video, I wanna dive into what you need to know about coconut oil. I wanna show you the upside, and then I wanna show you the downside. And there is one key thing you can be doing when you're eating your coconut oil that you're adding in with your coconut oil so you don't get this downside. So stay through the whole, the whole video here because I'm gonna give you some steps at the end and I'm gonna dive into more of what you can do to, a, to negate this dark side of coconut oil. And as always, I'm bringing you a whole bunch of studies on the upside and we have a few studies on the negative downside. So as always, if you love this, subscribe to my channel, share the video out, keep asking questions. This is how we got this video. So many of you guys had questions about this. So stay engaged with the, the material. And as always, I hope this helps. Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, we are going to talk about coconut oil because if you watch my videos that I, uh, the video that I did on the three strategies that you should follow to keep your immune system high, I talked about fat and how there is a dark side to oils when, when it comes to the immune system, and I specifically pointed out coconut oil. Well, the first thing I'll have to say is I'm so happy so many of you guys are listening and you're thinking this through because we got so many comments on that video. Same thing when we posted it on Instagram and Facebook. All Many of you were like, wait a second, coconut oil is bad? So I wanna dive deeper into this and I wanted to do a video specifically for you guys today on what you need to know about the upside of coconut oil, which many of you already know, but let's talk about the science of it. And what do you need to know about the downside, the dark side of coconut oil? Because there are a few things you need to be aware of. So let's start with this idea. Just to give you an overarching um, view of what's going on with coconut oil and the research behind it. We literally have over 1,500 peer-reviewed articles on the benefits of coconut oil. And they the benefits are vast. So, but when you dive into exactly what's going on with the makeup, the, the way that coconut oil breaks down, you will see that there are some negative sides that we've got to think about. So what does that look like? Let's start with this idea. We have, when you break coconut oil down, it's 70% of coconut oil is what we call a medium chain fatty acid. And medium chain fatty acids have incredible health benefits. And I'm gonna just read you a whole bunch of them. And I will again link the studies, but if just to kind of show you guys, this is my note sheet here, that there are study after study, all the blue you see in there, those are all the studies. There's study after study showing that medium chain fatty acids that such as the ones found in coconut oil can help with Alzheimer's. They can help with heart disease by increasing your HDLs and, and, preve and preventing high blood pressure. They protect against liver disease and they reduce inflammation. They're antibacterial and antifungal. They can help mitigate the negative effects of antibiotics. They can help improve memory. They can help increase energy, help with gum disease when you do things like uh, swishing of coconut oil or oil pulling in the mouth. They can improve type two diabetes. They can help the liver make more ketones. I mean, seriously, you guys, the list goes on and on and on about the medium chain fatty acids that are found in coconut oil, which is 70% of coconut oil. But when you look at the other 30%, that 30% that is something called a long chain fatty acid. 
And we know long chain fatty acids because we know about them from um, omega-3 fish oils, which are a poly, or they're an unsaturated fat. They are not a saturated fat. So when you have a long chain fatty acid mixed with a saturated fat, you now have a little bit of a problem. And yet there's one thing you can do to make sure that you don't get this problem. But let's talk about the problem first. The problem with long chain fatty acids is they can, they can um, harm the immune system. This is what I was talking about on the fasting video I did around the immune system. It is these long chain fatty acids that can be the problem. And what they're finding is that when you take in these long chain fatty acids, it creates an inflammatory response. Now, everything I've done on immunity on my channel over the last eight weeks has been around how do we bring the inflammation levels down so your immune system can work better. So if you're scooping uh, uh, spoonfuls of coconut oil into your coffee every morning and you're taking the, the big ingesting large amounts of it, you may actually be causing more problems for your immune system. You're not necessarily causing problems for all of these conditions, the memory and the, and the, there's like, helps you burn fat and skin conditions and osteoporosis and antibacterial and antifungal. You're not affecting these conditions, but what you are affecting is inflammation, which has it's specifically been shown to cause problems with the immune system. And the articles, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a couple articles in here for you, a couple studies showing that these long chain fatty acids can also dramatically affect autoimmune conditions. So those of you with Hashimoto's, vitiligo, um, if you've got you know, uh, rheumatoid arthritis or lupus, you're gonna to wanna to listen to what I have to say next because the long chain fatty acid, there is one way that you can help this inflammatory response that happens with these long chain fatty acids that are found in coconut oil. 30% of coconut oil is long chain fatty acids. So the, there is one step you can do to ensure that you don't have that inflammatory response. And that is, you want to make sure that you are ingesting enough short chain fatty acids. And you may be listening to this and going, what? Well, what, how, what is that? How is that going to help me? Let me dive deeper into that. So the, the way that you can mitigate this inflammatory response from long chain fatty acids is to always have your coconut oil with a short chain fatty acid, such as those found in vegetables. So things like potatoes, asparagus, um, garlic, leeks, onions, these all are short chain fatty acid foods. And when you have coconut oil combined together with those two, you turn off the inflammatory response that can happen from ingesting coconut oil. So it's this complex scenario where we've got all these benefits of the medium chain fatty acids and you guys who are doing straight MCT oil, you're not necessarily getting the long chain. So know that too. But we have all these benefits of these medium chain. I mean, all, look at all of them. But yet when you're doing scoops of coconut oil, you're also getting this negative immune response of the long chain fatty acid. Yet you can, you can mitigate that by just having vegetables with your coconut oil. Bottom line, like how simple is that? And, it, and I'll even, my staff will go in and they'll give you guys some ideas on these short chain fatty acids. Um, and, and short chain fatty acids are so important. These vegetables like potatoes and asparagus and garlic and onions, they're so important because short chain fatty acids will help to balance blood sugar. They also help to take turn white fat into brown fat, which is a much more easily burned fat. You want more brown fat than white fat. Um, they have been known, short chain fatty acids have been known to help with irritable bowel disease and um, uh, allergies. 
So we need more of these short chain fatty acids and we can only get them in plants. So if you want to bring down this immune response, you wanna calm the immune piece of coconut oil, you gotta have it with veggies, okay? So let me recap for a moment. 70% of coconut oil is medium chain fatty acids. That is incredibly helpful. 30% are these long chain fatty acids that can ha harm your immune system. They have a negative effect but you can counteract that with short chain fatty acid foods such as plants, like I've mentioned. At this time, at this moment, in this pandemic, I personally will not be scooping coconut oil into my coffee. When I scoop it into my coffee, there is no, there's no short chain fatty acid food in my coffee. So it is going to, I risk the chance of an inflammatory reaction from my coconut oil. Make sense? So if you're stir frying vegetables with this coconut oil, not a problem. It, it really depends what you're pairing the coconut oil with. And I will leave you with this thought. So there are three steps I would tell you to do right now if you're concerned about the immune effect of coconut oil. The first is what I said, just have it with vegetables. Okay, the second, run a gut zoomer. Those of you guys that have done gut zoomer with me, it is a stool test. We can look at your bacterial profile and we can see if there's a short, if you have enough short chain fatty acid bacteria that will help you bring down this long, these long chain fatty acids. So much of how we process food is based off of our, our microbiome. So understand your microbiome. Once a year, you should be getting this gut zoomer so that you can make sure that you have enough short chain fatty acids so that you can break down these foods properly and not have the inflammatory reaction. So those of you that already did a gut zoomer with me, just go to page four. It shows you if you have the right balance of short chain fatty acid bacteria. So know your bacteria. If you haven't done a gut zoomer, just put gut zoomer in the comments and we'll make sure that you get the that you get a link to, to our gut zoomer. Okay, last thing. I think it's smart to test your cholesterol on a yearly basis. Your doctor's probably already doing that. So test it on a yearly basis and look at your HDLs, your triglycerides, look at your total cholesterol, know what's going on if you're doing a higher fat ketogenic diet. Okay, so I hope that clears up coconut oil. So let's not always just throw out the, the, the concept. Let's look deeper, which is what I'm trying to teach you guys how to do here. So I absolutely loved that I got so many comments and I love that you guys are thinking for yourself because your body is a miracle, like I've said, and many times and knowing these little tricks is so powerful for being able to thrive with in this in this environment, not only with your immune system, but with your overall health and happiness. So as always, don't give up on yourself. Look deeper, keep asking questions. You guys are amazing, and I hope that helps.